Hi guys, Tony here. Uh, hope you're all well today. Okay, um, I have a review for you. Um, excuse my attire, I am in my dressing gown. Um, I've not been too well. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can just move this down a little bit because it's a little bit high. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Um, me and Dave's been out on our bikes um, quite a bit, um, going to uh, Scarborough, etc., and it's playing Havoc on my back. Um, okay, I, I got gifted this. Um, it's I'll as usual I'll always put the link in the description below um but it's a, a key safe for an outside wall or inside I, I would have thought I you know um although it might be a bit pointless inside but I'm not really sure anyway so it um came in this little box um <clears throat> this little box it comes with all the instructions on how to uh, use it and wall mount it etc and it also comes with the uh, appropriate fittings yeah a couple of roll is it roll plug wall plugs wall plugs yeah never get that right and nails um oh it's pretty heavy i was really surprised when it came because i thought it's really heavy that so there we go um it's i don't know if i can say that best cool home i don't know if that's right um and it, there is quite a bit of weight to it you know um and then that's the back of it uh it's got a little pull down here and it's got a combination um obviously it's set at the minute at four zeros so you set it yourself it'll tell you in the instruction i don't think i've had a look at it yet but um you know and then you push that black button when you push that black button it opens um and oh yeah the resets in there so it's got a little reset there look um a reset is on a and b like I say, I'd have to read because I'm not really sure, but I think you set the combination by them. Um, a and B, yeah. Um, and then um, put your key. Well, I think you can only fit a key in there, but, um, you know. Yes? Oh. Uh, so you can put, like, well, I suppose you could put a couple of keys in there. I don't think you'll get more than what's a bunch of keys in there. And then flip it back up again. And flick it back up. Now, I'm unsure about these because um, with them being out, like, outside, you know, maybe. If they'd, if they'd have had a key, maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, if they'd have had a key, maybe. Um, you know, to undo it, but combination I'm unsure about. Um, but like I say, it's really heavy, and you will get some a fair amount of keys. Or, or I'm assuming it's for keys. I can't think you get anything else in there. Um, and then it fastens back up again. And like I say, you know, I think they're a clever thing. But I think that um, may be better with a key, maybe. But saying that, you know, combinations are, you know, you can get some that are really good combinations. Um, I just think um, a key would be better um, because you've got to think, if you're putting keys to your house in there and somebody cracks that combination, you know, um not that i mean you know they might not it might be a, a thing that you can you know um 
but to me i think it would have been better with a key i do apologize about that dev came in he wanted some stuff out the bag and then he's whispering thinking what's he whispering for um and now she's barking because he's gone out uh so you know maybe with a key but i am going to try it with a combination and see what i get now my back way to my house is is pretty secure um so i think if anything i was going to put this out the back um you know because i have a, a, a like an, an eight foot fence around my house you know what i mean so and my back way is also locked with a gate and stuff so i think you know um me personally i would have preferred it with a key but i'm gonna try it um you know put a, a, a spare key in there i'm not gonna press i'm gonna, i'm just gonna try it but i'm not gonna put a spare key to my house in it uh, i'll put a spare key to somewhere else in it and then um see how it goes uh, as far as i'm aware it's all weatherproof because you can use it inside now um a wall mount lock yeah um but yeah you can change the combination on it you drill it to the wall obviously is there nothing on there too much of a small print can't see that but but it's a key box safe yeah so it tells you all the all the uh constructions on there and whatnot how to um change the combination because that when it comes obviously the set to four zeros but it is very very heavy so i'm quite you know i'm quite impressed with that um like i say you do your own combination then you flick the black button and it opens and the space in it's quite spacey as well you know some of them you get them they're like really thin um you know but saying that there's only really it looks big yeah great but remember you've got this combination thing here look that when you shut it it's going to take up half of that so you could only probably put a couple of keys in it or a key you know but nevertheless i think it's a great idea especially if you've got kids oh um you know I won't say school age, but and, and I, I can't even say, well, I can say man, I suppose. Um, you know, Rebecca's 18, but she's got her own key. But, and so is Jamie, who's 23. But sometimes if you've got, like, kids and you, instead of, like, putting a, a key under a wheelie bin, you know, <laughs> which in my time, that's what everybody did. It's under the mat. Um, you know, it's in the, it's in the safe. If you ever forget there's a key in, you know oh there's a back door key or there's a front door key in the safe out the back so they are a good idea um and i would recommend them um they're a great little thing you know just to have on the wall there's always a spare key in there you know you would probably get i would think as long as they're not great big massive ones if they're like yale keys i would have thought you would have got about four or five yale keys in there so um you know if you haven't got a spare back door key or something or if you've got a spare you can put a spare back door key in there spare front door key spare shed key you know what i mean so you've got like five keys in there um if they're like yale keys or little keys so i would i would recommend um these for for anybody um you know because if you lose a back door key go spare you know um so yeah I, like i said i i would recommend these i would have preferred a key um but combinations you know it's all good so i'll leave a, a link in the description below where you can get these from the from amazon um so i'll like i say i'll leave a, a link in the description below where you can get one of these from amazon um and if you do get one uh please mention um me tony from books of fancy folding um and that you've that i've recommended that you get one of these um like i said they're, they're really you know i think they're a clever idea 
Um, just, you know, better to be safe than sorry sometimes. So, go ahead and go get yourself one. Um, like I say, it's got everything with it, really, you know, so you can't really go wrong. It's got constructions and your wall mounts, you know. I mean, I don't know how good the screws are or anything like that. Um, maybe you might want to use longer ones if you're going into brick, maybe. Um, I don't really know much about that. I'll leave that to the men's side. Uh, and then, obviously, your, your, uh, your instructions and that there. Like I say, on the inside, there is an A and a B, so a reset A and a B. So I would have, I would think, you know, maybe you could, re I, I don't know if one, actually the A might be just for the zeros and the B, you set your own. I haven't read the instructions, I can't see them because they're that bloody small. <clears throat> um, but, uh, so, where, where can I, oh, that's to, that's to put it onto the wall. Also, you get a, a year's warranty with these as well. So, um, I meant to say that, I forgot. You get a, a year's warranty with them. Uh, that's how to hang it. Okay. Close the key storage compartment door if necessary. Oh, you set the combination. Okay, so. I'll go back up here. All right, you got to open the shutter door to reveal the dials, the set at four zeros, which I don't, I did say. Press down on the release button to open the door, pull the door open. Yeah, that's kind of not what I was looking for, but okay. And that, and you could, okay. Okay, so by the look of it, you, yeah you 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 push the button inside the a and the b i said that didn't i uh, the a and the b um yeah push the reset lever right and upward from position a to position b so you you don't you go for you go down to the b um and then you rotate the dials. Ah, I see. So the A is a is a permanent thing. If you wanted to change the code, you push it down to the B, change your code, then push it back to the A. There we go. Uh, and then your your code's set in there. That was easy. Uh, she says. Uh, so, like I say, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, where you can get one of these. They're on Amazon. Uh, I do highly recommend them. Um, like I say, the only the only problems that uh, well, I wouldn't say it's not a problem, but I would I would prefer one with a key. But you know, um, there you go. Little outside safe for spare keys. All right, guys, I'll leave it there, and I will see you very shortly. I have got another review coming up um, shortly as well. Uh, and I've, I haven't been doing much really, just my uh, doll's houses and stuff. So I will uh, leave that for another video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you very soon. Take care. Have a great weekend. I love you loads. Bye-bye for now.